Hi guys, so I wanted to do another holiday gift guide for you this year. Um, it's been a while since I've done one, so I thought it would be a good idea for us to do it. These are just my suggestions of things I have been loving, um, things that I think would make good Christmas gift ideas for all of you. Um, and these used to be really popular videos back in the old YouTube days, so I wanted to touch on it. I know this year is a little bit weird, but we're gonna do our best. So the first couple of things I wanna plug are my own things, first and foremost being the Catherine Morgan Hall. Um, the winter upcoming box will be Black Swan theme. So we're just gonna leave it at that. But um, I love this haul. We do it quarterly if you're new to it. Um, it makes a great gift because you can do them a la carte. So you don't just have to subscribe to them if you just wanna do one. Um, the fall box is still happening right now, which is Keytree themed, but the upcoming winter box will be Black Swan. So um, I just wanna put that out there. All of these I will link in, in the box below, including the Catherine Morgan Hall. Um, but that would make a great gift. Um, and the second thing of mine that I would like to tell you guys about, if you didn't already know, I am offering online ballet classes and I'm gonna to continue to do so starting in January. It's gonna get a bit of an overhaul because exciting things are happening in the Catherine Morgan land as well as Catherine Morgan and friends. So things are getting on overhaul, exciting announcements coming in the early new year. But what I do have right now are class packs. So I have a five class pack, and a 10 class pack. And if you would like to gift that, all you have to do is once you've purchased it and gift it, then that person emails me or you can email me and I can reassign passes to different people. So let's say um, you buy a pass for your friend. Once the friend opens it, I can go in there and reassign it to him or her. So it's very, very easy for me. Um, I offer multiple levels of ballet, of point. In the new year, I'm gonna be offering variations classes. Um, we also do strength and stretch. So I have a variety of classes on there. So if any of you um, would like to join me, I have those class packages. Again, new exciting stuff I can't quite tell you about coming in January and February, but I've had a lot of people already contact me about purchasing my classes uh, now as Christmas gifts. That's another thing. It's very easy for me to switch over the pass to someone else if you would like to gift a five or 10 pack of my online ballet classes. So that's another thing. All right, enough with my stuff. The biggest thing probably for this video is sort of, I've already done it, which I will link it into a card. Um, the complete Leotard and Dancewear collection, which thank you for your lovely comments about the editing. Yeah, it took a while to try all the leotards on and <laughs> edit it all. So I appreciate you guys saying something about that. But anything in that video, I love. All those brands are linked in the video and below. Um, any and all of them would make good Christmas ideas, you know, especially my mother when I was growing up was always looking for new leotard ideas to give me because back in my day, we didn't have very many choices. It was like the same leotard in like four different colors, but that was it, like the little Morella ones or the Natalie ones. Anybody? There wasn't all these customization and necklines and fabrics and you know. So if you get any ideas from that video, that was sort of the point of it. So probably my biggest gift suggestion would be that video. And if you want some leotard ideas or skirt ideas um, or even the little warm up things, go check out that video. I will link it below as well. But I would recommend any and all of those brands in there for great Christmas ideas. Um, word of warning though, if you are gonna order a custom leotard, do it now. Because if you're gonna get it before Christmas, some of those brands, if you're customizing, takes six to eight weeks. Um, so if you don't wanna do that, another suggestion is pretty much every dancewear brand that I know offers gift certificates. So go to those dance websites, go to the brand websites and see if they have gift certificates. That way your dancer or your friend or whomever can get the gift certificate and then customize their own leotard and you don't have to worry about them getting to you before Christmas. So that's another suggestion. So head to that video for dancewear specific Christmas ideas. So another thing I wanna mention is an idea. It's not a specific thing right here that I can show you, but a great stocking stuffer or small gift, especially if you're a parent of a dancer or you know you have dancer friends, is get find little 
bags. This is a Ballet Rosa one that was from one of my Catherine Morgan hauls. I think the third one, like ages ago, years ago. Um, any bag like this, you can get them at Target, you can get them at the drugstore, and do a little like ballet survival kit. And you can put toe tape and little bath fizzy and some little, you know, little goodies in there. You can find all these brands have little goodies as well. Just sort of make a ballet survival kit or a performance survival kit or a summer course survival little bag if it's your, your child or your friend's first time going away the summer, which who knows at this point. But just that's a thought. You can like get a little bag like this and fill it with goodies. And if you're not a dancer, you can do this for a non-dancer friend. You can have this be a college survival kit. You can have this be, you know, pick pick anything and fill it with some little goodies and wrap it all up and they will have the best time opening it and going through it. And trust me, these are very useful gifts. This is also good if you have to do multiple gifts for people. Let's say there's five friends you need to buy gifts for. You can get five little bags. You can fill them all up because oftentimes at the drugstore or Target or things, you can get a pack of five something, pack of ten something, and just sort of make these little kits up for them. I think it's a great idea, um, and you can make it relatively inexpensive if you look for the right products. But if you're a parent of a dancer and you want to, you know, you're tired of buying leotards for your child, <laughs> you can maybe fill up a little kit and have it be, you know, a ballerina's survival kit or something. There are so many things you can do with little little pouches. Um, but yeah, this is the Ballet Rosa one that I still use, by the way. Couple of books. This was sent to me by one of my students. She has a bunch of these. I'm completely obsessed because you guys know how I am with my china and my table settings and all that kind of stuff. Um, her name is Bernadette and she has just written a new book called Polite Society School of Etiquette, The Art of Timeless Etiquette, Graceful Dining Manners, and Afternoon Tea. This book is stunning. The pictures, the writing, um, it tells you everything you know about, need to know about serving and formal dining, informal dining, family dining, buffet dining, like al fresco, all these beautiful photographs and pictures of proper table settings and manners and how to set everything out. I'm obsessed. Look at this, like, like tea pairings, what to pair with certain kinds of tea. Like, hello. And she has other books as well. I'll link her full lineup on Amazon. I'd say she has at least four or five others, three or four or five other books. Um, but they're beautiful, beautiful photographs. Um, just completely obsessed. Thank you notes, how to write thank you notes. So I love, I absolutely love this. I'm so excited she sent this to me. And I encourage you guys to go check it out. I will link it below as well. But if you're into all of that and serving and hosting and, you know, Chris and I love hosting. I'm the one with the china, but we both love hosting. So I'm just so obsessed with that. Thank you, Bernadette, for sending it to me. And she was she never intended for me to share it, but I love it so much that I had to share it. So I think it's a fantastic gift idea. Um, the other one I wanted to show you that I found on Amazon, especially if you are a parent with Disney-obsessed children, which young Catherine Morgan was one of those kids. It is called Entertaining with Disney. No, I am not a child. Yes, I had to buy this book. So basically what it is, is they're all of these themed party ideas. So Mickey and Minnie birthday party. There is the one of them that I loved. There's like Alice in Wonderland tea party. There's Cinderella's glass slipper New Year's party because like midnight and everything. So all the recipes, beautiful photographs. Um, let's see, Peter Pan's How to Not to Grow Up party. Moana's Island Summer Barbecue. Like just so cute and done in a way that's exceedingly elegant. It's still very elegant. It's not very, I don't know what the word, it's not cheesy at all. It's actually stunning like stunning photographs, stunning recipes, just Disney but elegant. Mermaid, Little Mermaid Bridal Shower Brunch. I mean, it's just, look at that, it's gorgeous. Um, so if you are into entertaining or Disney or have a child who you wanna plan birthday parties for, or different parties for, I think this is a relatively new book. 2019, yeah. It also includes over 30 free downloadable printables, custom signage, invitations, so you can copy exactly as they have it. I just thought this was too pretty. And then the spine, of course, is pink. So it looks lovely 
sitting on a coffee table or something. So I just had to share this with all of you. I simply got it because I thought it was so pretty on Amazon. One more thing that I've had for a while that I am completely obsessed with that would make a fantastic gift, not just for Christmas, but for wedding shower, bridal shower, you know, something special because they are a little on the expensive side. This is a custom uh, stationary box. So let me show you. It comes with four different cards, a glare on the light, but you customize four different pieces of stationery for the person. So let me hold mine up. If you watched this in wedding vlogs a long time ago, you've seen this because I actually got this box for a bridal shower gift, um, but <laughs> all the, the names were all wrong once things went south. So I and my mom ended up getting me a second one, but I still have the original box and they come in a million different colors. It's where I will um, link it below as well. But you do, you customize the stationery, the color, the color of the box. They have like a million different colors of the box. You customize, um, there we go, there's Catherine. Then I have KM. And I picked the fonts, I picked what they say, I picked the color, uh, my monogram. And then uh, this one is the last one. Catherine Elizabeth Morgan. The glare on this light. There we go. Catherine Elizabeth Morgan. So you pick four different styles. You pick all the colors. And then you also have the option to do envelope liners. So I have this liner. But in my old box, um, let me see if I can find one. I also got silver roses to line. Yeah, silver roses. So some can come lined. You can do plain envelopes as well. I have I have plain envelopes too. I got a combination of both because the liners are more expensive. So you can kind of do both. But you can customize this box pretty much in any way you want to. And it looks stunning. It looks stunning sitting on a desk. You know, you can stack them. Ah! Fail. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Pretend that that worked. You can stack them if you get multiple ones or, you know, on a, on a shelf like this. I have them stacked on my desk. So they just look really pretty. It's a nice satin. These boxes are actually satin. So it just makes a really beautiful gift. A really, like if you need a good gift, this is lovely. And I am obsessed with them. I use them all the time to write cards, write thank you notes. Um, I've kept all the old envelopes, even from the original box, so I have twice as many envelopes as cards because I had to get rid of the other cards because it was my married name. Um, but I am so obsessed with this box. The other idea along with this you could do for people are gift tags. If you want a little bit cheaper option yet still something personalized, um, let me show you my gift tags that I have um, that I got at one point a while ago. I think it was after after my wedding, but um, I have ones like these that say they're they're um, gold, so you can. There we go, Catherine K M Catherine Morgan. That's one gift tag. Um, another gift tag. I have very merry Christmas ones like this, um, and then I have uh, this one, which is my name. There we go, my name and uh, monogram again. So. That's another good idea if you want to get some custom stationery for somebody but you don't want to get the full box. Um, custom gift tags, you know, even just one set of custom stationery is always a good idea. I think it's just super fun and, and lovely to have your own stationery. Um, so that, that comes highly recommended. Um, so you guys, you know, I, I feel like over the past however many years I've been doing YouTube, I've always recommended different dance products. Go through that video, go through the what's in my dance bag video. Anything and everything in those two videos, I highly recommend. I wouldn't be using them otherwise. I just feel like it's a little bit redundant to tell you about them again. Um, so those are all great as well as all the things I mentioned here. Like I said, the Winter Catherine Morgan box, which comes out in January, will be Black Swan. And my class packs will be good starting now, really. But if you'd like to gift someone a clasp pack, 
um, either do it in your email and I'll transfer it or go ahead and do it in their email address and their name and then it'll work right away. But if you need any help, my, my team and I can help you with that. Um, so those are my gift ideas. Hopefully there's some new things that you haven't seen before or thought of. Um, I have missed doing these kind of old videos with you guys. That's why I'm going back to them. Um, if you missed that video of all the leotards, it took me three days to film, literally. It's right down there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.